Hello once again, our most valued student. My name is Confident and today I just wanted to bring in some mathematics basics. These basics, you know, sometimes you discover every time you try your mathematics, something always goes wrong along the steps and you always wonder what might be the cause. It because sometimes you violate certain rules. You do what I call mathematical suicide. You know, I always tell my students to say, if there was a jail for maths, some of you will be given life imprisonment, you know, because of some of these basic errors, though basic they are, but they can cost you. So I just want to bring in some of these uh, in uh, as a discussion. It's just an open discussion here that I wanted just to bring, you know. One of them is when you are dealing with fractions. Let's talk about this a bit fractions as simple as they are but sometimes you know students don't comprehend some of the simple things within a fraction for example if i give you and say this fraction is that is algebra mainly if i say 1 over 2x right you must understand and know that this x is on top it's same as saying x over 2 this is one and the same thing are you with me the x is not this if i say not the x is this is not one over two x no that's totally different but the x is on top that is one of a few things you must remember the second one when you're dealing with fractions if for example i give you an equation here to say uh, one over two x is equal to eight you know and you're supposed to simplify this. So there's two, three ways you can actually solve such a question. It looks simpler, but sometimes students struggle to say, what do I do here? So these are the options that we have. The first one is to get rid of this one over two. So what you do, you multiply by the reciprocal of it. So the reciprocal is two over one. Are you seeing that? But what you do on the left, you do on the right times 2 over 1 that's when when you cancel that you see the fraction is gone so you will now have x is equal to 8 times 2 which gives us a 16 that is one way i'll call it method number one what about the second way of doing the same someone can say okay if you're giving me 1 over 2x is equal to 8 you know some they prefer to say okay i feel like i can use a uh, a division to say let me divide both sides by what i don't want and this is what you don't want you see so you can divide by one over two divide by one over two you see so when you do that and you do that you have got your x is equal to eight now let me show you again the other error that some of you do whenever you are dealing with that I will use my calculator because at this stage usually that's where you got your calculator you are going to say don't be tempted to press a division press a division same time did you see what i did some of you that's what you do in your calculator you press and press okay i did it more press and press so if i do this it will be eight over one over do you see what the calculator even did now look at the answer you get you're getting four instead and that usually costs you so what you're supposed to do look at it carefully eight is a number on top so you put a put a fraction in that case write the eight and then go down and then the fraction is at the bottom if you put then that fraction you will see in the lines of the division they're not equal then it's one over two equal to you see now it gives me my 16. so that then becomes, uh, in this case, the answer. So that is 16. So what is the calculator doing here? What the calculator did is, the calculator is saying, x is equal to 8. Now this division line, you can write it and say, divided by 1 over 2. And you know, you can convert the division to a multiplication. And when you do that, what you need to do is to invert this fraction. This goes to the top, this goes to the bottom. It becomes 2 over 1. 
hence you now have a times 2 you have got your 16 so that is another way you could have approached what about the other method number three number three if you give me that question again 1 over 2x is equal to 8 what I can recognize is to do what I told you to say this particular x is same as saying x over 2 see is equal to 8 and then since it's a fraction on the left I also do a fraction on the right then I can do what is called cross multiply whereby the this multiplies that multiplies so you are going to say then here x times 1 which is x is equal to 2 times 8 and then you've got your x is equal to 16 okay so that is when you're dealing with fraction okay but most of the error is always this challenge whereby students are not able to recognize this part that's where most of the errors are to say 1 over 2x is same as x over 2 so it means then if I give you for example if I say to you we have got 3 over 2x all right this is same as what remember the x is on top this is same as what 3x over 2 are you seeing that now if I say 3 over 2x okay now when you're giving it like this you cannot then is not let me make it red this is not equal to 2 I mean 3 over 2 and then you start to put an x there no the x is at the bottom it always stays at the bottom I don't want to introduce the exponents and other stories but in general always keep it at the bottom okay so that is one part let's continue the second part that I see students struggling a lot whenever they are given the question is for example when you are given x plus 2 squared you know when they give you this students get confused and this is what they usually attempted to do they will say this is same as x the 2 is x squared plus 2 squared you see and then the answer they get it will be x squared plus 4 and then you you wonder how did they uh, come about that but this is wrong what you must remember is x plus 2 squared means this is x plus 2 twice the square means it's happening twice then from here then you have to use the foil method where this multiplies this multiplies this multiplies and that multiplies so that you have got x times x then it's your x squared x two times i mean x times x x times two it's two x two times x it's two x and two times two it's four then usually the center one you must continue working on it so that it's x squared plus four x plus four you know so students get struck they struggle especially the funny part is i've seen the lower grades like grade nine they are mastering it but when they get to grade 12 they just want to do this version which is wrong i don't know how it goes about but i've actually seen it especially in grade 11 grade 12 students and i don't know how they missed it now to say they were doing it right in grade 9 and 10 but all of a sudden they've just missed it another one that sometimes you know without you realizing someone just says y plus y you know what students say they'll say y squared no guys this is wrong i know it's tempting but the answer you gave is for y times y when you multiply that's when you've got the power one a power one the laws of exponent says when you multiply add one plus one which is y to the power of 2 in this scenario what you're supposed to do is to say y plus y is equal to remind yourself i'm adding i'm adding it's addition there is a hidden one there is a hidden one so it's one it's like picture y re uh, representing maybe um 
uh, what 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 color is 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 why yellow or what color what what fruit starts with y i don't know what fruit but let's say y represents colors yellow so it's one yellow color plus another one yellow color you have got two yellow colors you see that's two y so these are small things that you know they take your mates off and you wonder but why am i thinking like this when it's not possible look at this sometimes even they give you this x squared plus x squared you see the moment i'm adding please my students when it's a plus avoid this to say oh this since i'm adding it's two of them someone writes two x and then you see to the power four no that's suicidal of you to do that if there was a jail i repeat again if there was a mathematical jail i will lock you up and throw away the keys if you do that and you'll stay for some time just to give you enough punishment down actually if you do this you must pinch yourself a little bit to say never do this you must feel pain when you do this okay why because you're you're committing the algebraic errors that are supposed to be basic when it's a plus this can only happen when it was look at this x squared times x squared you see there's not even a two it's x remember i told you it's exponents how many x's are there now you say two plus two here you are adding two plus two then you get x to the power four you'll never get even the two that is appearing there but if you were continuing with this one what you're supposed to do you're supposed to say oh i must remind myself is one x squared plus one x squared just picture x squared just like a banana to say one banana plus another one banana i'm going to get what two bananas so even here you're going to get two of the same kind two of the x squared you see as i mentioned it's basic but it, most of the time it takes students off grade you know they they, they they lose it there sometimes an examiner tests you like this they'll say 3x squared plus 1 over 3x squared is equal to maybe they will say in this case 3 you know and then student solve the answer okay let me not make it complicated with this 3x squared let me make it simple they will say to you x plus 1 over x is equal to 2 and then they say solve for x you know as 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 simple like that you find students doing this they will cancel the x they will cancel the x now you're stranded now when you're canceling x what are you gonna have you know so at the end of the day they're like okay i've canceled the x but look we are solving for x but you're canceling the x you can't do that you cannot do that why because of this plus it means the x is affecting that and the x is affecting that in actual fact this x plus one over x it simple means x over x plus one over x you see like this if okay let me just do it like this uh like this take it here remember i said it was equal to two then this means x over x plus one over x is equal to two you know that's what it means and then you can allow yourself to cancel it like that and when you are cancelling it again don't be stranded x goes into x don't say nothing is left and you are left with nothing and then you're saying the answer now becomes one over x uh one over x is equal to two and then i ask you what happened here you're like i cancelled it out remember when you cancel out something there must be a placeholder for it so it's one plus because x goes into x once so when the x and the x cancels you have that one so this is what you're supposed to do but in actual fact that's not the right way of working it if you wanted to work this one we are supposed to say x plus one over x uh is equal to what we say it is equal to two then you've got an option like i showed you with the fraction you can then come here and say 
uh, let me multiply by x you see and let me multiply by x why because x is at the bottom that's when you cancel it and you cancel it don't say nothing remained one remained because one does not affect anything then you still have your x plus one is equal to two times x which is two x you see that then what do you do from here it's still algebra you can let this x jump the equal sign it's positive when it jumps it becomes negative to join the other x why why did i take it to the right hand side it's smaller you see x and 2x 2x is bigger that's why i make it join so that you've got 1 is equal to 2x minus x right now remember there is a hidden one there it's 2 minus 1 which is 1 what 1 of the x will remain is equal to 1 so in other ways here x is equal to 1 you see so these are things that take students it it looks easy but my students usually get it wrong the last one that the last one this one this one i don't know how they, they, they i don't know how they go about it but this is the one the um quadratic formula remember it says x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac then it's over 2a this one always confuses them for example they'll be given a question like so for x it will be x squared minus x minus 5 is equal to 0 you know let's say plus 5 out of interest sake okay let me just maintain minus 5 here you know for them to work on this oh they confuse a lot then you the duty to remind yourself that there is a hidden one there is a hidden one there is remember the general form is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero it's your duty to know what is a a here is one what about b b is minus one what about c c is equal to minus five so that when you substitute look now where they get it wrong the substitution when you come here where there was a b you see b is minus one so when i come here you know you find students just putting a one forgetting that there was the negative one so it's minus you put it in brackets you come here again where there was a b you put it in brackets it's minus one it's what squared for a and c what was a a you put a bracket it was one and what about c put a bracket and put minus five you see over two what is a a was a one you know such a, a sub substitution like this you find students struggling especially when it comes to this and they get things wrong so guys i just wanted to bring you basics basics i'll keep on bringing them but they usually cost you a lot you find you have done lots of the heavy lifting and then you start finding yourself doing these funny things you know i call it mathematical somersaults you are doing somersaults you are becoming the jackie chain you are becoming you know the jackie chain you know doing things that are stunts don't do stunts try to remain basic stick to the basics you will always be right if it feels like it's wrong just ask yourself what are the basics remind yourself take yourself back to the basics so guys this is me bringing you the 24 minute lesson remember this lesson is for the underdogs that's why i'm saying to you my underdog avoid such so that at least your foundation becomes secure in your midst see, see you next time thank you